This is my review of the Garmin Diesel 800. I've been using it for about almost a year now. I used to have the 700, it developed an issue, couldn't get it resolved. Bought the 800 and the 800's built a lot sturdier. I think the 1000 has a couple more added features. I'll put the specs of the 800 down in the description so you can take a look at it. For those of you that are owner operators and run your own uh, IFTA, you'll see by the first report it'll give you date, where you started from, where you ended at. And then the second, as you open one of those, it'll give you um, a more detailed report on uh, how, how many trips you did that day. So if you delivered in one spot, picked up at another, and then uh, wherever you ended up that night, it'll show you all the miles by state, toll roads, amounts that you ran and you can add um, you know if you do everything on here put your fuel in and that it would even show fuel I only use it for my plates so that's why you don't see fuel in there now uh, if you want you can export the report out to Excel on the top half you'll see that it's Got, it assigns a trip number, the date, start, date, end, origin, destination, total distance, odometer start, odometer end. So when you set up the um, Garmin, you have to make sure you set up uh, set it up with your correct mileage on your od <clears throat> odometer so that um, it records correct odometer reading. Now, like I said, there's a fuel report, so you can go up, add when you fueled, how much, and that. So that would probably be included in this too. As you go down, it turns into the trip number, the date, state, highways used, I'll spread this out a little bit. Total distance, I'm going to tell miles. Off-road, I don't know what that be for unless you're, I would assume like a flatbed driver who uh, might be delivered to construction sites and that would have off-road miles. And then other miles would be your total. Odometer start, odometer end. And it brings them all together. Now this is where, if you know somebody that knows Excel, they could probably generate a report and save it as a macro or as a report in here where you could subtotal all these things by state and make it a lot easier. Um, or you're good at sorting. You could sort this by state. The only thing is you'd have to manually um, type it all in. Just a kind of example how you can sort it. Um, I did a quick sort by state. So you could go down here. You want to do totals. If you look on the bottom, you would just highlight the totals. It gives you an average count and then the sum. So that would be how many miles in Iowa that I would have ran during that time period. Now I know the 700 does that report, the 800 does. So I would have to assume that the not or the 1000 does. Now for what you're really looking for. Should I choose this? Uh, should I choose Rand McNally? And even now, Rand McNally came out with a, what's it, the 1050? 
supposed to be 33% better. Now, one drawback is Garmin's POIs for like truck stops is pretty bad. They don't, when you look up truck stops, very rarely will it ever pull a Quick Star, Quick Trip, any off brand. It pretty much picks name brand um, spots. Now, Rand McNally, they would show you pretty much all of them. Another drawback I've been having is when I first got it and I was doing the review on the 700, um, the 800 didn't have it and that was it didn't show, the 700 didn't generate all the turns so you had to really kind of pay attention. Then when I bought the 800, it really didn't have that issue. And in the last two um, updates to the firmware, it all of a sudden now is back to that issue. It doesn't show you every turn. And it's still, you'd think by now they'd fixed it, but if you're running through Illinois, it'll show you that it's not I-55, but it'll show you as I-95. Another thing I'm noticing is, and Rand McNally kind of does it the opposite way. Um, the reason it's not really showing you any turns is, let's say you take a state highway, well, it's gonna make a right somewhere. It doesn't always tell you that you gotta make the right, you gotta pay attention and it'll say on the sign, to make the right and it'll show you on the routing to make the right it just won't tell you the one thing i do have to admit about garmin it's a lot less rare for me not to find a street than it was with Rand mcnally now i don't know i haven't updated my Rand mcnally in a long time because i haven't used it um what i might do is just update my Rand McNally and uh, use that for a while. Um, maybe they've updated the firmware and the mapping to be equal to this new 1050 and it'll turn out to be that I go back to that. Um, for me, that the, for doing just my plates, Rand McNally's trip report's a little more generic and easier to sort. Um, this gives you more information on the Garmin. Like I said, the biggest drawback to uh, the Garmin is its POIs. That seems to be my only issue. Um, and it's, they're not even updated. A lot of times I have to actually put in addresses for pilots and loves in there especially new ones that have come out now the one nice thing about the garmin is if you hook it up to your phone you can get um like if somebody texts you either on messenger or just your regular messaging app it'll pop up on the screen so you can just glance over and see if it's something that you need to pull over and text them back and it'll show who's calling. Well, I hope this is kind of giving you some information on if you're thinking about a GPS, um, what to choose. Again, it's up to you. Um, I tend to swing towards Garmin but the, like I said, the only biggest issue I have is POIs aren't updated and it's not telling you to make turns and, and that in there. And some of the roads are, uh, aren't correct in there. Again, always check compared to a map or to Google Maps. Um, I kind of use both because 
I've had run into issues where sometimes Google's right on where to turn and sometimes uh, Rand McNam I mean Garmin's correct. So it's 10 of one, half dozen of the other. I use more than just my GPS. It gets me in the general direction. Um, I haven't really had it had it have an issue where uh, it's taken me down um, a bad street or anything like that. Except when you get into small towns. I think it's truck routing is a little on the old side because twice now in like the year I've used it in a really small town it was showing the street as a um, truck route but uh, it wasn't so it's possible that at one time it was and as the town grew it turned they changed it to a non-truck route so as always you need to wa pay attention to signs for those that thought my last review was a little long, this one, as you see, is a lot shorter. It's a general overview. It gives you some high points on what to expect with it. I've been pretty satisfied with it overall because <clears throat> it's never really taken me into a bad place and neither really has um, Rand McNally, it, that just tends to consider um, quick and short as the same. So it tends to take me a lot of out of route stuff um, that uh, takes you on too many turns. This once in a while does, and I can usually get around it. One nice thing about this is it's traffic. Um, you can have it reroute you. Once it kind of rerouted me on some small streets, but they weren't not truck routes. They were just some old streets just to get around an accident. So, again, I've had some pretty good luck with my Garmin. And I, you know, my Rand McNally, when I was using it, got me around it just like I said it tends to like to take you on the scenic tour when it's having to deal with uh, small towns all right thanks for listening and hopefully if I do a few more of these reviews I'll get a little more energetic when I do them and uh, I'll learn a little bit more by watching others and see you know, maybe script these a little better. Well, thanks a lot and have a good day.